did a goat just show up in Made in Mike's world? Stay tuned for another great review. back my lovely brothers and sisters to me and Mike's world heard you miss me I'm back guys before we go any further I hope everyone's safe everyone's well families everything and I must apologize I know you guys have been shooting some messages out to me and say hey Mike where you been guys I'd love to sit here and display statues all day for you and talk statues with you but I got other interest <laughs> and I don't want you guys getting bored of me. And today is a very special day. This is our 100th video in Made in Mike's World. Woo. Where'd the time go? Where'd the years go? But it's been great. I don't care. Also, I've been getting ready for the Kentucky Derby party. Annually, I always throw a Kentucky Derby party last couple of years with COVID and the passing of my mom. Didn't really do it, wasn't into it. This year, I'm trying to get back on track. Uh, so we're gonna have a nice bash. You guys live in Southern California. You wanna come down, hang out in Made in Mike's world, check out the museum. You're more than welcome, you people out of state. You wanna fly in, come on in. As always, uh, there's always room inside me and Mike's world for all you. All right, guys, let's get to the piece. Is this the goat? And I don't mean the animal, the goat, the greatest of all time. I believe it is. And the reason why, guys, I don't believe I mean, maybe it's me, I'm getting a little old, I'm forgetting things, but I don't remember a company ever making a Joker on Throne. So, when Tweet Ahead announced that they were going to take on this task, I know Prime One is putting one together. Now, not a real big fan of it. Looks okay. But when T Tweet Ahead decided to do it, I said, okay, let me see what they're taking a shot at. I, I had to give them credit for it. And they said they were going to release two sizes, a one-sixth and a one-fourth. Now, right away, right away in my head, I'm thinking a throne piece needs to be one-fourth. One-sixth, eh, be more like the queen's chair, wouldn't you think? Uh, instead of the king's chair. So, I was all in on the one-fourth. But when I saw the price, I, just, I had to take a step back and I was like, whoa. Did I overpay? Absolutely. But I knew it was gonna be such a spe special piece that I was gonna to have to take that chance. And I did kind of hesitate back and forth, but I did first day pre-order, no doubt. Was it worth it? I don't know. You tell me. Whenever you spend 1500 bucks on a statue, <laughs> you, better, you better feel pretty happy about it, which I do, but I like to hear it from you guys. The weight. Let's get into the weight. I could not even bring this box up the stairs. I actually had to take it apart downstairs. 
the base. I'm pretty good with sizes and weight. Uh, bringing this up, I want to say it was probably 40 pounds, maybe, maybe a little heavier, <laughs> the base. And carrying something so delicate made it really hard getting up these stairs. I mean, you can hear me in the video. It, bringing it up here after I videotape it because I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you a little different uh I was huffing and puffing and I like to think of myself in good shape for 58 year old guy I, I would have to say I'm I think I'm in decent shape all right guys enough of me talking about it let's dive in I know you guys can't wait to check this out you guys have seen the one sixth out there, but it's like driving a Volkswagen or a limousine. Big difference. I've seen the one six. This is the one fourth. This is special, guys. Come on in. Let's check it out together. Okay, guys. There you go. That's the art box. It's so damn big that. I gotta walk around it. It's kind of cool. I know a lot of you guys are into the art box look. Me, I think it's a waste of space, waste of time, waste of money. Just give me the product. <laughs> Just kidding, man. But I know you guys dig this stuff. So it's a big box, man, and it's heavy. It's heavy. That's why I'm filming it actually downstairs and not up in the museum. There goes all the stuff. I have to say, guys, that this is definitely, by far, I believe, the heaviest piece that I've ever dealt with. I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of uh, not looking forward to taking this out, but got to be done. I'm assuming that chair is tremendous, tremendous weight on that. So we'll check it out. Okay, guys, I decided to wing it a little different only <laughs> because of the extreme weight of this damn base. This is incredible. I mean, I had to bring this upstairs uh, <laughs> and it made it in one piece. Uh, this damn thing is heavy. I'm not kidding. Uh, um, it has to be over 50 pounds, 60 pounds. And, you know, don't get me wrong. It's not a lot for me to carry. Uh, you know, being that I lug bodies out. Uh, but carrying a piece delicate <laughs> where you have to worry about uh, breaking anything is actually pretty stressful. But... All right, let's get a look at the base first, guys. Like I said, we're going to do things a little different this time, only because of the size and weight of this piece. There you have the throne. It looks absolutely, absolutely incredible. Tweet ahead is no longer uh, the lower end of statue collecting they have stepped up now with big price and a big i don't i'm not going to call this a big piece i'm going to call it a big masterpiece i like the way it has the gasoline pouring out the bags of money The money looks great. It looks real. Not like what Prime One gives you. <laughs> I mean, to do this. Bags of money. Here we go. This is. This is the part that kind of separates. You know, it puts us in that GOAT category, the greatest of all time. 
All right, so like I said, guys, I'm gonna take you through it a little different angle this time. We got his camera on board, and now I'm gonna go through the pieces and put them all together on there. There is pieces that go on here. So let me get back to you. Okay, guys, body's on. All right, guys, there he is, fully displayed. Uh, let's dive into the Joker and his portrait. That's where we're gonna go first. Look at the teeth. Teeth right away jump out at you along with those eyebrows. <laughs> I mean, that's that's pretty sick. The shading around the eyes are really well done. Uh, looks great, absolutely great. Let's give you guys all sorts of views at it. Profile. Hair is sculpted really well. I think he's got a great profile. Now, I don't know if I did mention this, but this came missing with his swap out uh, sculpt and swap out hand holding the blade and sideshows well aware of it a bunch of uh a bunch of them were shipped like that and tweet ahead is this they it's already on on its way it's phenomenal okay let's take a ride down his uh suit the orange yellow uh that color is just so vibrant, just does wonders as far as lighting up the statue. I think it's great. I love the weather look on the pants. All right, got a nice, Real realistic look to it. Look at the socks with the wrinkles in it. That done really well. Absolutely done really well. There's a little few little paint miscues here, but I'm not gonna worry about that. As long as it's not broken, I don't care. Every statue is not perfect. All right. Let's make our way down the Joker's leg. Socks again, incredible. Now, shoes. I mean, shoes are incredible. <laughs> Look at the laces, looks real. Pretty sick, pretty damn sick. All right, this is the special uh, shoe. Gotta love this shoe. Blades sticking out of it. Tweet Ahead did a really good thing uh, by telling you how to take out a lot of the parts uh, on paperwork that was left on top of the statue as you open the box. Uh, this way, you didn't wind up damaging anything. So, to get this beast out of the box was incredible. And Tweet ahead made it a little easier by, you know, informing you how to grab it, what to be careful of. Uh, so, kudos to them. I mean, for a million dollars, uh, that's the least they can do. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, guys. All right, guys. You tell me what you think of this piece. Is this the greatest Joker statue of all time. I'm gonna give you a quick swing from the back, the massive look. <laughs> I mean, that's, it's got, got a bunch of knives, 
the accessories or knives, you stick them everywhere. Uh, his tire iron latches in over there. His pimp cane, pimp cane is, uh, all you do is lift him up a little bit off the chair and keys right in there. He's got uh, imprints on the cane for his fingers. So it's stuck in there pretty damn tight. So, looks good. All right guys, so you tell me, is it okay to call this piece the goat of jokers? All right, my brothers and sisters, till the next video, stay safe, keep your family safe, keep your pets safe, and uh, love you all.